Hey YouTube, Ramberto here. We're doing a budget build for a gaming PC for April under $500. That's right, we're coming in under $500 on an Epic Gaming PC. Um, and this one's pretty good. Can't wait to show you guys uh, what I've put together. Um, as you can see, we're looking at an Amazon shopping cart. I thought uh, that'd be a little bit better than uh, doing some gameplay video and me talking about it. That way you guys can see real pricing, real time, right now. Okay, uh, so let's start off at the top here. Um, as you can see, the uh, price that we're coming in right now is four ninety two sixteen, and the date uh, today is uh, Sunday the seventh. Uh, so this is real time, real prices. Um, the um, case that we're going to use for this PC is the Fractal um, Core one thousand at thirty seven ninety nine. Um, the reason we're going to use this case is, if you can see this case, um, it almost looks like a speaker, um, and that's what I'm going for. I'm going to I'm going to build this just for my living room. We're going to put this either next to the TV or behind the TV, and it's going to be hidden. It's going to be a Steam box. It's just going to be dedicated just for gaming. Um, we're going to run um, the Steam Big Picture mode with the wireless Xbox 360 controller from it. Um, so I wanted to go for something that looks discreet, um, and I think this is the best case that I can find for that. Um, it does fit the micro, um, ATX motherboards in there, um, so we're good, to, we're good to go on that. Um, so next we've got the, um, just the basic DVD-ROM, um, the cheapest one they got, just something to load Windows on. I'm going to, I'm going to load Windows 7 onto this, it's a lot more stable than Windows 8. Uh, I know some people are saying you can get a little bit more gaming performance with Windows 8, but, you know, I just don't like the format of it, so we're sticking with Windows 7. Um, the hard drive is a 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. Um, just something to get the job done, and there you go at 5740. Um, the uh, power supply is a 500 watt power supply, uh, Cooler Master Extreme. Again, just something basic. Um, it's reliable. It's not the cheapest power supply on the internet, but it's not the most expensive. And again, we're getting the job done. Um, now for the CPU, I picked the AMD Phenom X4 965 Black Edition. Um, very overclockable. Um, it's got a ton, a ton of features on it. Um, you know, you don't have to go out and get the latest CPU um, to game. You don't have to do an i5 or an i7. Um, granted, if you guys are going to start playing flight simulators and stuff like that, you, you want to go with an i5 or an i7, just because a lot of those simulators, um, they do require a high CPU for a lot of the, the simulation and the background stuff they're trying to run. Um, but just for gaming, um, if you guys, you just need something in there, something quick um, that you can overclock, and the AMD Phenom Black Edition is just a phenomenal CPU, um, and that's the one we're going to go with. Um, so, and the motherboard, um, this is the, um, cheapest motherboard they had. Again, just getting the job done. Um, it's a, uh, MSI, um, motherboard. They're very reliable. I do like the overclock features that MSI has built into their motherboards now. Everything's digital. You can do it with your mouse. It is very easy to do. Um, and the, um, the megahertz on the RAM for the motherboard is 1333. Again, we're just trying to get something in there, um, you know, to get the job done. And most of your gaming performance is going to be off the graphics card. So that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to save money on all the other stuff and the graphics cards where we're going to uh, put the rest of our cash into. Um, the RAM, we're going with the Kingston Technology HyperX Blue. Um, it's a 4 gigabyte at 1333. Um, and again, four gigabytes, that's the minimum that games are running off of. So that's the minimum we're going to use. Um, it, this is one stick. So if you guys want to upgrade to, to eight, you can do that. Or later down the line, if you guys want to upgrade to eight, you can do that. Now the graphics card is the, uh, EVGA, um, GTX 650 Ti. 
it's the boost edition. Um, it's just a killer card. It's already it's already overclocked. It's already boost. Um, at uh, 1033 megahertz. Um, the clock speeds are pretty good. Um, the reviews on this card are, are phenomenal. Um, for what you're gonna pay for it. Um, I know ten more dollars, you could probably get a 660. Um, but we're trying to keep it under five hundred dollars. Now, if you guys wanted to go um to a 660 um, non-TI, they've got them on sale right now um, at Amazon for I think 183 is what the price was. So I'm trying to keep it under five hundred dollars, and this is the best squeeze for the budget. So it's the TI Boost. Um, it, it's just a great card. Again, the 660 is faster, um, but you know, keep it under 500. This is the best we're going to be able to do. Um, and it has an HDMI out port, um, so we're going to be able to hook it up to the TV. Um, the TV I have is a 47-inch Samsung. Um, that's what we're going to be gaming off of. So I'm trying to get the most um, most performance I can with the uh, highest resolutions I can at the, um, I believe it's the uh, 1960 by 1080, don't quote me on that, um, but I think that's the resolution we're trying to get to. I think you can go higher, but um, for some reason my TV, as far as when you plug a PC into it, that's the max it'll do. It's a uh, LCD 1080p Samsung, so um, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out when we get the uh, card in there and we get we get everything um, booted up. We'll see what the max uh, resolution is. Um, I don't want to top it out at the max resolution because I do want to keep the frame rates pretty good. So this is the card that um, we're going to put into that. So as you guys can see, um, we're at 492.16, um, and that's before taxes, before shipping. Um, so it, it's just a great build if you guys want to build something, uh, something affordable. It's definitely affordable. Um, another option we have is if we uh, take off the 650 Ti Boost and we go down here and we get the HD uh, 7770, we can come in at under $450. Um, and the 7770 with this um, CPU, you're going to be running Battlefield 3 at high at like 50, 60 frame rates per second. On Ultra, you'll probably be running at 3540. So um, this is the latest update on the um, CPU build. I'm not sure if this is going to be my final build, but I just wanted to put that out there on the internet. So if you guys are looking at building something, this is today's prices. So um, jump on it quick. And um, that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep trucking. Good stuff.